Welcome to Learn Yourself. Today we are going to study about crystallization. These topics are from ICSC standard 9 syllabus. So earlier in this chapter, water, we have studied saturated solution, unsaturated solution and how to make saturated solution unsaturated. All these things we have already studied and I am assuming that you are well versed with all these concepts. If you have any doubt regarding this, please check the description. I have given the link of all the videos based on saturated and unsaturated solution. So here, what is a crystallization? When hot saturated solution is cooled, the excess solid is generally thrown out in the form of particles. Now we know that when we are making hot saturated solution. So first at room temperature we will dissolve the solute in the solvent. After that we will make it hot and we will enhance the capacity of solvent to dissolve the solute in it. So it is not its natural capacity. So when again it will go back to room temperature, the solvent will throw out some of the solute which we have dissolved after making it hot. This particles, what we have added after heating the solution, those particles we can recover from the solvent in the solid form and they are generally coming out from the solvent in a crystal form. What all amorphous solid we have dissolved in it or small crystal we have dissolved in the solvent once this hot saturation, hot saturated solution will become cool, it will give us the excess solid in the form of crystal. So this process is known as crystallization. So all these forms of particles are having definite shape. We know all the different geometrical shapes, diamond shape, rectangular shape, all these shapes are geometrical shape and these particles, what all particles we will recover, they are in the form of definite shape. Each and every substance crystal will have a particular geometrical pattern. So they will make crystal of that geometrical shape. So what all particles we will get from the solvent, from hot saturated sol solvent after being it cooled, those are having definite shape. So we are calling them crystals. These particles are called crystal. And this process, the whole process is known as crystallization. Now what are the crystal? Crystals are homogeneous solid. So all the crystals, what all you have recovered from the solvent, all are having a same kind of shape. So they are homogeneous solid arranged symmetrically. They are arranged in specific particular pattern, geometrical pattern. Second, crystals have regular definite shape. They are forming, they form a very regular and definite shape and they will follow one such particular geometrical pattern. Now, what all are the conditions that we have to follow while we are making or while we are forming crystals? So first, hot saturated solution should be cooled slowly. Second, rapid cooling results in amorphous solids. What will happen when hot saturated solution will be there? You cannot put it in an ice bath and you cannot cool it down rapidly. It has to come till room temperature. The hot saturated solution should come till a room temperature by its own. So this process should be gradually and slowly. This rapid cooling will give us amorphous solid. We will not get crystals of the solute. The slow evaporation enhances concentration of solute gives well-defined crystal. While we are making hot saturated solution, so we have to evaporate some of the solvent so that we will get 
a crystal so that evaporation that heating should be very slow so that the concentration of solute will be maintained in the solution so these are the three important condition that evaporation should be on low flame or slow or gradual heating should be there and the same way after making hot saturated solution the cooling should be gradually done you cannot cool it rapidly otherwise you will get amorphous solid of that particular solute now let us see that how can we make crystal effectively so in this we have taken a hot saturated solution of potassium nitrate that is kno3 now we are making this hot saturated solution at 90 degree centigrade why because earlier in the solubility graph we have seen that potassium nitrate is observing maximum solubility at 90 degree celsius so we will make a hot saturated solution at 90 degree celsius now after making hot saturated solution the second step is we have to cool it down gradually when we are keeping it for the cooling at that time the slowly you can see that crystal has start forming at the bottom of the solution so from that you can take a one well defined crystal and on the glass rod you can tie it that crystal with the thread and we have to hang it in the solution so it should be in a suspended manner in between the hot saturated solution so one well formed crystal we have to take and we have to tie it at the end of the thread and we have to suspend that crystal in the middle of the hot saturated solution so what will happen that other crystals which are yet to be formed will give will get one base to form a crystal so this crystal is known as seed crystal so the crystal which we have hang in the middle of the solution is known as seed crystal so large crystal will form on the seed crystal and it will allow a deposition of more and more solute on this crystal so that's why it is known as seed crystal and at the end of the procedure once the all the crystals will form you will see that one large crystal bunch you can see on the seed crystal because it will allow a deposition of the excess solute on it so this is how we are getting crystal from a hot saturated solution but again we have to maintain three condition that evaporation should be at lower rate cooling has to be gradual and it should not be a rapid cooling otherwise we will get amorphous solid at the place of crystals so this is all about process of crystallization how to make a crystal with the help of seed crystal the condition for the crystallization and what all are the crystals if you have any doubt regarding this topic you can comment in a comment box or you can write me at my email address don't forget to subscribe learn yourself for many more upcoming videos I'll see you in next video till then keep learning keep sharing